Hi, my name is Amanda Hall, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a simple applique design. Dictionary.com defines applique as the French word meaning to apply to. And the cotton patch quilters of Kern County say that applique has been around for almost 2,500 years, and the oldest surviving piece of applique comes out of Egypt dating all the way back to 980 BC. I enjoy doing applique, and I use it to decorate my children's Native, Native American regalia. Here's a piece I did with a simple star design using the technique I'm going to show you today. So before we get started, we have to collect all our supplies. The first thing you're going to need is the design which you wish to put onto your fabric. Today we are going to be doing this very simple butterfly design. The second thing you're going to need is a piece of carbon paper. This is used to trace your design onto the backing of your heat and bond. Heat and bond is a glue, but it has a paper backing so that you can iron it onto your material. And then, of course, you're going to need a pen to be able to trace your design and transfer the carbon, the carbon paper onto the backing. You're also going to need fabric. I've chosen three colors today. I have orange for the body, I have a sequins purple for the designs on the wings, and I have a bright yellow to actually do the wings in. You're going to need a sharp pair of scissors and a hot iron. Make sure your iron's on about medium. You don't want it too hot because it could damage your fabric. Also, if it's not hot enough, it won't melt the glue and the heat and bond won't stick to your fabric. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna attach a piece of heat and bond, which I've already cut out here, to a piece of material, which we're gonna do here. You wanna lay your material wrong side up and you wanna lay your heat and bond glue side down, paper side up and you're simply just going to iron over it. About two seconds is all it really, really takes, and your heat and bond will be attached to your material. Let it cool down maybe about 30 seconds because it could burn your fingers. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna trace your design. For this, the orange, we wanna do the body. So we're gonna make sure and just do the outline right here. We're gonna lay our carbon paper dark side down. We're going to lay our design right side up and we're gonna make sure they're lined up over the heat and bond paper backing. And all you have to do, very simple, is trace the outline of the body just around all the way. Make sure your papers don't slip or your design will be off kilter and there you go, the body of the butterfly. Your next step is gonna to be to take your scissors and just cut out following the lines that you drew. It's very, very simple. And when you're done, you'll have a body like this. You're also gonna to wanna to do that with the outline of the wings. I made two of them here. And I went ahead and made some little circles to do the decorative pieces inside of the wings. After that, you're gonna to want to attach your heat and bond to whatever you're decorating. Today, I've decided to decorate this pillowcase right here. It's very, very simple. You just lay it out. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that there's nothing that's heat and bond under it because it'll melt all the way through and you just make sure there's no wrinkles on the material that you're going to be putting your applique on. Your second thing is you're gonna to wanna to lay out your wings big side up and make sure that's where you want it. When you've decided where you want your butterfly, the next step is to just peel off the paper backing and what it does is it leaves, if you can see that shiny, it leaves a glue on there but the paper comes off and you just iron over it. And this time you're gonna do it for about 20 seconds um, to really make sure that it affixes itself to your project. You repeat that step with the other wing and then you simply just lay your body across the top. Remember you can take off your paper backing. Then you iron that piece on, put your spots on, iron over that. When you're done, you can leave it like that or you can use a contrasting color of thread on your sewing machine and zigzag a stitch around the edges. You can go around it a couple times if you want and it really makes colors pop. And what our final product will look like is 
this. And if you can see, I used green to go all the way around the outside, and I'll show you that there. Very simple. And then I just took my pen and I drew two little lines, zigzagged up the edges. And then you have a butterfly. So let's go over our steps. We collect our materials. We cut out our material and we attach our heat and bond. We trace our design and cut that out. Then we iron it to the item that we're designing, zigzag stitch around it, and you're done. You have a decorative piece. I hope you have fun with applique. I know I do. Have a great day.